So you've got a killer idea and you signed all your contracts, but you're not ready to shoot just yet. First, you'll need to think about some incredibly important pre-production details to make sure that your shoot goes off well. Music video shoots are like a good mystery. They're not easy to solve. Now to help you with yours, we'll be looking at how to get your location and equipment ready, what to consider with your talent and crew, and lastly, how to plan for specialty needs in such a way that your video can happen successfully. Most video producers have a love-hate relationship with shooting on location. Doing so saves money and adds variety, but comes at the cost of control. That's why it's important to scout your location before the shoot begins. While there, you want to note if there are any plugins to power lighting, if restrooms are nearby, if there's enough parking for your talent and crew, where you'll be placing food and equipment, and most importantly, if the area's look meets your creative expectations. Due to the time it takes, location scouting is often done by as few crew members as possible. Only members like the lead electrician, director, producer, and camera operator will typically need to look at the location beforehand. If you're new to an area or want to find new locations to shoot, consulting with a location director can save you a lot of time and headaches. These people are often experts on the location around them and know who to call in order to get access to restricted locations. If you'll be building a set in the location or shooting a wide shot, you want to make sure you have plenty of time in your schedule to dress and light the set before the rest of your crew and talent arrive. This will not only make your electricians and art designers happy, it will actually save on human resource costs as well. Another factor to consider is your equipment. In order to make sure you have everything you need on the day of the shoot, it can be helpful to look at each scene in your storyboard and write down what gear you'll need to make the shot happen. This includes everything from the camera package all the way down to cables for the monitors. Some frequently forgotten but useful items include gaffer's tape for securing cables, black wrap for lights, charged batteries, sandbags for weighing down stands, walkie-talkies for crew communication, tables, ladders, and lastly, coolers for drinks and snacks. Making sure you include these small details on your equipment list will ensure that your shoot day runs smoothly. Of all the factors to think about before a shoot, your talent and crew should always come first. Because crew costs are some of the highest expenses you're going to have, you want to make sure that you have just the right amount of help to get the shots you need. For complex shots, this may require a sound operator, grips, and an assistant director. But for simple shots, you may only need just the director, a camera operator, and your talent. Either way, it can be extremely helpful to use your shooting schedule or storyboard to determine the size of the crew that you're going to need for each shot. From there, you'll want to create and pass out call sheets. A call sheet is a list that shows each member of the talent and crew when they need to arrive on the set and what their duties are when they get there. The day of the shoot can be incredibly nerve-wracking, so finding ways to make your artist comfortable can go a long way in getting a good performance. Many directors will ask the band what kind of food and snacks they prefer so they can provide them at the shoot. Though it doesn't take much effort, it can go a long way towards making an artist happy, which leads to better performances. It's also good practice to have a separate room or area where the talent can relax between takes. This area should have snacks, a table and chairs, and forms of entertainment in case the setup goes kind of long. Another consideration to have on set is a proper makeup room. This room should have a medium to large sized mirror, a chair, and plenty of good lighting. This way the talent can see the way they'll look under lights like the ones you'll be using. Now if you don't have a set big enough to hold a makeup or artist room, you can always rent a trailer or set up a table and chairs outside where there's going to be more room. The last thing you'll want to consider before your shoot is what kind of specialty needs you might have. If your music video involves a night scene on a street, you may want to consider renting a truck the day of the shoot to hose the street down. If you can't find a truck that can do this, it may be possible to get the fire department's permission to hook up to a fire hydrant. This creates reflections on the street that can help a scene look less static and more interesting. Also, if you'll be shooting a music video that requires plenty of public parking, it's always a good idea to close off the lots you'll need the night before the shoot is scheduled to begin. This way you can make sure that you don't have to tow cars on the day of the shoot. Pre-production involves some serious planning, but it definitely pays off in the end. By finding solutions to potential problems before you shoot, you'll be able to make sure that your shoot goes off well. Yeah.